Hello Internet, so nice to see you. Are we allowed to copy guitar licks? Are we allowed to take inspiration from other people's music? Are we allowed to steal licks from other guitar players? Well, opinion about all these differ completely. Some people are like, of course, you can be inspired by the people and you can even copy their leaks. Some other people are like, no, you have to be original at all cost and you cannot copy anything. Copying is bad. Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you my take. And I think it's a very useful take on it if you want to grow as a guitar player, if you want to progress as a guitar player. Okay, and I'm going to support my take by showing you how other people have the exact same take as me. So it's not, on, not only going to be me, but you're gonna, I'm going to show you how other people that you know, famous people, okay, think or thought exactly in the same way. Make sense? So, if you're ready to be offended, if you're ready to be embroiled into a controversy, let's go and let's see why. And let's see if it's okay to steal music from other people or not. Why it's good stealing leaks? Why it's not a moral problem and why you should do it? So I'm gonna I'm gonna call on the authority of a few people here just to convince you. Steve Jobs used to say that good artists borrow and great artists steal. Okay. So what's the difference between stealing and borrowing? Borrowing is when you just take a leak and you transplant it as it is in your solo. That sounds bad. Good artists still do it, but not the best. Stealing is when you, you take something and it, 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 you, don't, you don't just use it this way. You take something and then you run with it, <laughs> okay? And running with it, you take this leak and you transform it and make it and really make it yours. You guys know Steve Jobs wasn't the, the one, the, the first one to say this because fittingly enough, he stole the quote, he stole it from Pablo Picasso. Picasso used to say, good artists borrow, great artists steal. Picasso, too, stole it from Stravinsky. I don't think Stravinsky originated the quote, but I'm not unable to find uh, um, somebody before him who said it, but I'm pretty sure he stole from somebody else. I mean, the, the quote itself says, steal me, okay? I don't know you, but if Steve Jobs, Pablo Picasso, and Igor Stravinsky tell me that it's good for artists to steal, I kind of tend to believe them. Also because those three people have very original styles. Those people were three original people. They did something completely different and, and they admit that they were stealing. Okay, so just to convince you guys that stealing doesn't mean not being original. But I'm going to talk about this more later. Just Here's something I've read on the internet. And of course, you should not believe everything you read on the internet, but here's something I read on the internet. Only... Unoriginal artists steal. Is that true? Is that a thing? Here's a question, guys. If you go out there, like you get, you get out of your house and you ask the first person you meet, who is the most original guitar player? Again, imagine you find somebody who knows nothing about guitar, okay? And you ask them, who's the most original guitar player? What are they going to answer? What's the first thing that comes to mind to a non-guitar player? Think about it for a moment. I'm giving you the answer. Jimi Hendrix. Most people are going to say, Jimi Hendrix, again, I don't care if it's true or not. I have my opinions. You have yours. Okay. I don't care right now. I'm just saying, if you have somebody out there, I'm going to say that the most, um, people out there are going to say the most creative, original, whatever, Guitar player is Jimi Hendrix. Do you think Jimi Hendrix never stole anything? Okay, now, if you know something about guitar history and you actually go and see what people were playing just before Hendrix and or during the Hendrix era, you're going to find something interesting. Is that, and not, notice the question mark, by the way, you're going to find that Jimi Hendrix stole a number of things from, from, other, from other players, especially from Mr. Curtis Mayfield and Mr. Jeff Beck. Now, I hope most of you know who Jeff Beck is. If you've never heard Jeff Beck or of Jeff Beck, you guys want to note down this name. And tonight, if you want to listen to everything there is of Jeff Beck on YouTube, okay? Because you're not a guitar player until you see what Mr. Beck can do with his guitar, okay? 
Curtis Mayfield, it's a bit less famous, at least among, um, let's say, younger people, okay? Uh, many of you many know, um, already know Curtis Mayfield, but if you never heard Curtis Mayfield, that's another player to listen to, okay? Now, Curtis Mayfield is the guy from which Hendrix, quote-unquote, stole his rhythm style. You guys know the song Little Wing? All those nice leaks that makes the song so interesting. Hendrix did not invent one of them. He got all of them from Curtis Mayfield. Do I mean to say that Hendrix is not original? No, far from me. I mean, I think Hendrix did a great job in stealing those leaks and putting them in his own style because Curtis Mayfield is a soul guitar player. His music sounds completely different than Hendrix. Hendrix stole the idea, the leaks, and put them in a rock context. Completely different situation, okay? And again, Hendrix did stole a number of leaks and ideas and the general attitude, if you want, from Jeff Beck. And this is not me saying that. It's Jimi Hendrix and Jeff Beck saying that. If you go around and search interviews with those people, is that, 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 that both of them admit, admit that, then both of them denied that, then both of them admitted that again. And they went on back and forth with all these. Jeff Beck said at the beginning, said that, Jimmy stole his style and did something better. When Jimmy died, Jeff Beck said that Jimmy was completely original. And then uh, 15 years later, he said, no, he actually stole something from me. So it's this kind of back and forth because it's bad to say that Jimi Hendrix stole something apparently on the internet and people are going to get really angry at you. And you know what? I think I need to fill up my hate email quota for this <laughs> lecture. So that's, that's the thing. I think Jimi Hendrix stole something from both Curtis Mayfield and Jeff Beck. But I don't think it's bad. Okay. So I think we have a good, I have permission here to steal something too, okay? If, if Jimi Hendrix does it, and Steve Jobs, and Pablo Picasso, and Igor Stravinsky, and several other, I think we have permission to steal something too. So what do you think of it? Do you agree with it? Do you disagree with it? Are you completely offended by this? Write down your answer in the comments. But now, do you know what is the most efficient way to steal music from other people, a way that is positive for you, it's great for your growth. Do you know how to do that? Well, the best way to steal idea from other people is to learn music theory. Because music theory, after all, or a big part of music theory, it's the collection of the collective experience of all the composers before you. Because those people have tried a lot of things, and we put all these into music theory. And in this sense, it's way more digestible. You learn a lot more than just copying a specific person. And you can modify it at will. It's, as I say, the most efficient way of stealing. If you want to learn music theory, we have several different things. Since you're here, right now I'm assuming you guys are lead guitar players. If you are lead guitar players, I'm showing you one resource, I think it's a good resource. I think it's one of the best resources, actually. Sorry if I say this to myself. But with this resource, you're going to learn uh, all the scales and modes on your guitar and how to move them around the fretboard and how to improvise with that. You're going to learn how to solo on any kind of possible chord progression. It's a course I've wrote, and it's called Master of the Mods. Master of the Mods, it's not a book, and it will never be a book. It's a complete video course made by guitar players, for guitar players, that take you from zero to become an expert in using mods and scales. This course is for people who are not afraid to do some exercises. Theory is important, applying theory is more important, so the course is taught through exercises that you have to do, and the more you practice them, the better you become. If you have just a minute, check out Master of the Mods at the link on the top right. If you like this video, smash on that like button, don't forget to subscribe and click on notification, otherwise YouTube will not let you know when I put up a new video. And if you have any idea, any feedback, any suggestions, please write them down in the comments. I love to read from you. This is Tommaso Zillio of MusicTheoryForGuitar.com and until next time, enjoy!